Yeah. All right. We are the Hebrew Israelites. We come out every week to let the so-called Negroes, Native Americans, and Hispanics know who they are according to the Bible. Okay? Which are Israelites, all right? We come to let them know who the Lord came to save, which is Israel. Okay? Go ahead and read that. We got these heathens out here talking mad shit. Like they know the scriptures. Go ahead, read that. Proverbs 28 and 9. See that. Turn it away and hear. No, read that. No, read that. See that turn it away and hear from hearing the law. Even the prayer shall be an abomination. Now that's the spirit, because I told the brother to get Isaiah. No, no, hold that. That's the spirit, because I told the brother to get Isaiah 28 and 8. And he read this. Now, if you hear these heathens out here talking, the whole time they're talking about they don't have to keep the law. Jesus came to save the sinners. The law is, is sin and the sin is death. Blase, blase. Now, like I said, I told the brother to get Isaiah 28 and 8. The Spirit wanted that to come out. Now, read that again. Who that turneth away his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer shall be an abomination. Their prayers are an abomination. All this shit they doing out here is for nothing, man. They say you ain't, if you ain't even want to hear the law, your sins going to be an abomination. I mean, your prayers is an abomination, man. Hey, you got us out here. We're in America. They'll keep the laws of America. No problem. Oh, oh, we, we put our seatbelts on. We're not going to run no law, run no lights. But the most high law got to be wicked now. That's how you know these fucking people wicked, man. Now read that one more time, man, and then go where I want it to. He just turned it from where he's here from hearing the law. Even his prayer shall be abomination. Right. Where in the scripture did it say in the Old Testament, I'm in the New Testament, that the Old Testament done away with? Where did it say that? Where did Paul, where was Paul reading from? Huh? Where was Paul reading? Where was Paul reading from? When, you, when, when Jesus Christ, what they call Jesus Christ, when he was coming and he was teaching the people, where was he teaching from? He was teaching from a New Testament that wasn't even written? Come on, man. Go where I want you to go, man. Matter of fact, no, give me Matthew chapter 13, verse 52. Matthew 13 and 52, right. Says, then, then said he unto them, Therefore, every scribe which is instructed unto the kingdom of heaven mm -hmm. is like unto a man that is a householder. Now, what was a scribe? The scribe was a basically a keeper of books and records. He wrote the records and he kept the records. He said the kingdom of heaven is like a, a scribe. Instructed to do what? Was instructed unto the kingdom of heaven. Unto the kingdom of heaven. Go ahead. Is like unto a man right. that, is, that is a householder. Right. Which bringeth forth out of his treasure things new and old. See, it's about the Old Testament and the New Testament. Not no just about no one or the other. You got Israelites that just want to go by the Old Testament. You got he these heathens that want to just go by the New Testament. You got to go by both, dog. If you go with one and don't go with the other, you got to you get an incomplete understanding of what the scriptures is telling you. Okay? All right? That's why they don't understand these scriptures, man. All right, well, I told you to get that's how it is in America. Pure perversion, man. Pure perversion, man. Go ahead. Who shall he teach knowledge? Who shall he make to understand Right, who is the most high going to teach knowledge? Is it going to be everybody? 
this big ass religion called Christianity. The Lord says straight and narrow is the way that leads to, to the kingdom, man. And wide was the way that leads to destruction, man. The top religion on the planet is Christianity. Obviously, that shit ain't it. Obviously, that shit ain't it. Go ahead. And who say he makes to understand doctrine? Who shall he make to understand, understand doctrine? It's the gospel that Jesus okay. It's not like you've been baptized in some water. It's the gospel that God from the milk. Them that are weaned from the milk, which is the small things in the scriptures. Go ahead. And drawn from the breast. And drawn from the breast, which is what? It's the Bible, the scriptures itself. Go ahead. Well, must be upon precept. Hold on, precept must be upon precept. Hey, you got these guys saying that we, what they saying, anybody can cherry pick? Well, if you, go, if you read any of the scriptures, you could call that shit cherry picking. That's hypocritical. That's hypocritical. It's a void argument. If you out here saying the Bible out your damn heart, you cherry picking. Anybody can say that if they don't like some shit. The only way not to cherry pick, according to them, is to read the whole Bible every time you pick it up. Yeah. Every time you want to mention the Bible, start from Genesis 1 and 1, all the way to Revelation, to, what, 22nd chapter. Just come out here and read the whole damn, the whole book. And even that, you can say you just cherry picking the Bible. You just cherry picking the, the chapters you want to read. Right. Are you cherry picking the book? That's that's a void argument, man. Nobody want to hear that shit, man. You know, scriptures say for precept must be upon precept, man. Man, you gonna jump from Daniel, then you gonna go to Genesis, then you gonna go to Second Esdras to prove your point, man. That's how you read the scriptures, man. I tell you who can rightfully dividing the truth. Rightfully, it, it said rightfully, man. And he knows. But if you divide something, if you divide something, you taking you taking away, you taking a little part away. Right. So how is it cherry picking? It's only found in Christ Jesus. See, that's what I'm saying. These so-called Christians, they hypocrites, man. They're hypocrites. Okay. Man, you gotta know the Bible. You're a hypocrite. Go ahead. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man for for that's also read. That's why America about to be destroyed. And you Christians about to be destroyed. That's why you Christians about to be destroyed. Because you sowing lies in the earth, man. They swear they know something, man. These heathens swear they know, like they're gonna, like they're gonna usurp. Give me Romans chapter 9, I think it is. Like they're gonna usurp the authority of the Most High to put the, the the Jews as the people to speak the truth of His word, man. Like they're gonna really usurp the Most High's authority to vet to put that vesture in Israel like that, man. You heathens got some fucking nerves. The Most High gonna pay y'all something, man. The Most High gonna pay y'all something, boy. Go ahead. Romans nine and uh, twenty-four. Four, man. Start at the top, matter of fact, man. Yeah. Romans 9, the top. Uh, I, say the, I say the truth in Christ, I lie not. Yep. It says, my conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Ghost. Yep. That I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. Right. For I could wish that myself were accursed mm -hmm. from Christ for my brethren my kinsmen according to the flesh. Now Paul doing all this for his brothers, man. He ain't say no damn Edomites, and this is in the book of Romans. Go ahead. Who are Israelites. Who are who? Who are Israelites. Israelites. He ain't even say nothing about no damn Jews. These, these damn dummies still talking about some fucking Jews all damn night about Jews this, and he's he gonna save the Jews with what it is, 12 tribes of Israel, not just one. Right. You damn dummies. Not just one. About some Jews, this is 12 tribes of Israel. Jews of Judah is just the, the top one. That's just one tribe. Okay. Go ahead. Who are Israelites? To whom pertaineth the adoption? To whom the pertaineth the adoption? 
Wait, what well, pertain means it belongs to something dealing with. So how the hell, if he's saying that the adoption pertains to Israel, how the hell could all of them, the heathen, be included in that? He says that the adoption pertains to Israel, man. Fuck that bitch, man. All right. How how does that pertain to everybody, man? <laughs> right, I ain't feeling these women out here tonight. Y'all proud as fuck, man. Nobody feeling y'all out here, man. <laughs> <laughs> Come up here walking with the fucking hills. Man, fuck oh, that. Man. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> Go ahead, man. <laughs> I mean, how does that pertain to everybody? It don't, man. Just Israel. Only Israel gonna be saved. I don't give a damn what nobody damn say. I don't care what them damn fake ass Christians say. Go ahead. To whom pertaineth, <clears throat> who are Israelites, to whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory and the covenants. Now you're going to have that nigga come on our page. Oh, you shouldn't have said that about yeah. the woman. Yeah. You shouldn't have called her that. Hey, well, first of all, she out here dressed like one, man. Hey, Sandy. Huh? Hey, Sandy. You look like Sandy. Oh, no, hey. First of all, <laughs> she out here dressed like one. Like the scriptures say, man. Uh, uh, um, what do you say? Uh, uh, give me a... Uh, Sirach 21, man. Oh, um, no, 22. What are you looking for? A woman shall be counted as a dog? Oh, yeah. yeah. You say, you say... I can't remember exactly the wording, man. A uh, shameless woman shall be counted as a dog. No, you don't got to get it. It says, shameless woman shall be counted as a dog. You walking out here with nothing, hardly nothing on. Your ass is counted as a dog. A dog is a what? What's a female dog? It's a bitch. It's a shameless too, man. Shameless. Go ahead, yeah, go ahead. It's showing your shame, man. I mean, they supposed to be out here naked, man. Not out here. Do that shit, you know, in the in the privacy of your own home with your husband, man. That's cool. Not out here where I can see the shit, where the brother can see the shit, where everybody can see the shit. Your shame is being shown, man. But you know what, y'all shameless, man. That's that's the worst thing about it because that means you just know you're doing wicked, but you like, yo, you know what? Fuck it. I don't give a fuck. Truth, bro. Truth, respect, huh? You know? That's the attitude out here. I just, I just, that's the attitude of these women. I don't give a fuck, man. We don't all, give a all, fuck either, man. Yeah, all, you don't give a fuck either. We definitely don't give a fuck when the most high come back and, and, and fuck all y'all up too, man. Pursuing the Proverbs, the first chapter. That shit is gonna happen real soon, man. Now everybody seems like they got, you know, something smart to say and laugh and shit like that. Mm -hmm. But Proverbs 1, it said we gonna, we gonna get the last laugh, man. That's how it's gonna be. Let y'all brothers know what happened, man. Little bitch walked past. I guess she looked over here. And the brother's like, yeah, she like you. She stopped like she wanted to come back. And I said, man, fuck that bitch, man. <laughs> so she looked over here. And she looked at me. And she just turned around and started walking again, man. We ain't got time for you women out here, man. Because y'all ain't about nothing but confusion, man. Yeah, y'all think y'all hot shit, man. Y'all go over there to them little Christian dudes that was standing right there that want to save every, every damn body. Hey, we see him out here, man. You know, let's go back, but let's go back to that. It's Romans. It. Romans, who are Israelites, to whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory and the covenants. Matter of fact, just read the whole damn chat. So we ain't cherry picking a day. And the giving of the law, right? And the service of God and the promises. So they are, the adoption pertains to Israel. The glory of God, which is the kingdom, pertains to Israel in the word. Service. The service of God, which is being a priest and coming out and teaching, that pertains to Israel. The giving of the law. The giving of the law, meaning the laws that were given, were given to Israel, so that pertains to Israel. Promises. And the promises. What's the promises? 
See, what these damn dumb, stupid-ass heathens don't understand is that the Most High God promised Israel from the time of the beginning that he would save them and put them in their kingdom and they will rule over the nations. And they will, well, let's get Luke chapter 1, verse like 51. I want you to hold that. We're going to come back. See, what these damn heathens don't understand is this, this is why the Most High don't want their ass teaching. They don't know what the fuck they talking about. See, the Most High promised Israel that we were going to live on earth in peace in our own kingdom. And we was going to rule the earth in peace. peace. And not going to slavery again. That was promises given to Israel. And it was fulfilled because we couldn't receive those promises because we fell short of the glory because of our, of our sins. How the hell can you sin if you're not under the law? If you don't live in Russia, how the fuck can you break a Russian law? If you're not a Russian citizen, it's the same thing, man. We weren't able to, we fell short of the glory of the Most High because we sinned, because it was in our nature. So the Most High God had to send His Son to save His children, Israel, like He said in Matthew 121. The Bible ain't fucking lying. The Bible tells you clearly he came to save the children of Israel. But then you read over here, and let me read Corinthians, and it say all men. Motherfucker, if it say in Matthew 1, Israel, when it says in, um, if you go to uh, Acts or somewhere else, and it says all men, obviously it's talking about all men of Israel. Right. It don't got to say Israel every damn line. It don't got to say Israel. First of all, these records were written for Israel. Yeah, yeah. It's like a damn a, a Russian coming to America, reading the Constitution and say it pertains to him. No, it's, it pertains to Americans. That's how dumb and stupid these fucking heathens is, man. We get tired of talking to these stupid asses, man. A lot of times, I don't even, even want to say nothing to them motherfuckers about it or teach on it, but it just gets to the point, it's like, yo, you got to say something about it, man, because it's just so fucking aggravating. Like, you motherfuckers really don't fucking get it. Go ahead, what well, I told you to get it. Yep. Luke 151, he have shown strength with his arm. He has scattered the crowd in the imagination of their hearts. Right. He has put down the body from their seats and exalted them of low degree. Right. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent empty away. Right. He has opened his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy. He did what? He has uh, opened open his servant Israel. He helped Israel. I don't see no damn heathens right there. Go ahead. In remembrance of his mercy. Right? In remembrance of his what? Of his mercy. Because when you read in the Old Testament, it said mercy pertained, it said that the mercy was given to Israel, man. And he said, but you don't That's why you can't just read the New Testament and think you got to understand another scripture. That's like reading a book and just reading the last 10 pages and think you now you know the whole damn book. Right. That's stupid, man. Just the same as you can't just read the New Testament and understand the scriptures. Yeah. Right. Or you can't just read the Old Testament and think you're going to understand all this. No, you got to read the whole thing in its entirety. That's the balance. That's balance. That's fucking common sense. Obviously, if you study for a test, you ain't going to just study for half the test and think you're going to pass the whole thing. So in the Old in the Old Testament, in the beginning, it said that the Lord, what it let the Most High, promised Israel certain things. And one of them was that he was going to save them out of all of their troubles and put them in a place where they could be safe. When, you, when Jesus Christ came back, when he came on the earth, that was his fulfillment of his promises, man. Jesus Christ is written in the, in the Old Testament in the laws of Moses. So that was prophecy that he was going to come. He had to come because the Most High said that he would make, he would send a prophet like unto Moses, man. And him you had to listen to, man. Go ahead, man. Father's to Abraham. 
NTC Corridor. Read that again. Read that whole little thing again. Oh, nice. He has showed strength with his arm. He has studied the proud in the imagination of their hearts. He has put down the body from their seats. Read that again. He did what to the proud? He has scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. That's why they out here imagining that they're going to be in the kingdom. They're going to go to so-called heaven when they die. Some damn fairy, that, some fairy tale shit, man. Scripture don't talk about no going to no fucking heaven when you die. They don't talk about going to no damn hell when you die neither. Yeah, don't say that shit. That's some bullshit, man. That's not even a cycle in the earth, man. You see the earth cycles and revolves and everything recreates itself, man. Where the fuck do you see that in nature? The most I'm not going to do that shit, you stupid. But then you talking about the most high is a loving God. But you're gonna put somebody in hell forever? That's that's fucking stupid, man. So I'm saying these people talking about they Christians, man, you gotta be out your damn mind, man. You gotta be out your damn mind to believe that shit, man. Yeah. Go ahead. He have put down the body from their seats and exalted them of low degree. Yep, go ahead. He have filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he have sent yeah, empty man. away. That's why they walk around here empty, man. I ain't got white, white people ain't got no damn money no more, man. Like they try to put on. They got credit cards. And they rack up debt. Just like America racked up all that debt and the damn credit rating went down. Yep. These people ain't got no fucking money no more. They sad as shit, man. They sad as shit, man. Go ahead. Yep. Yeah. Helping his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy. In remembrance of his mercy, man. Go ahead. As he spake to our fathers, to Abraham, and to his seed forever. I guess they ain't read that shit, though. Go ahead. Mary of old, what's her about? That's what I got. Where you at? Keep going, man. No, skip down. That's beautiful that you read that, because that ain't even what I wanted. The Most High is beautiful. See the Most High bringing all this stuff out? Because that ain't even what I wanted. That's beautiful that it came out. Go down to verse 59. Nope, go down to 67. I'll praise the Al Bashim Al Shah, by the way, for bringing that out. Go ahead. Luke 1, 67, 1 verse 67. And his father, Zacharias, was filled with the Holy Ghost and prophesied, said. You know what's funny about that? I read what? that. I read that last night. Yeah, that's beautiful. I read that. Oh. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Wait, go back. 67. And his father, Zacharias, was filled with the Holy Ghost. The song of Zacharias. And prophesied sin. He said, now this is Zacharias prophesying. Mm -hmm. This is his dad, John the Baptist's yeah. dad. Exactly, right. John was going to be called Zacharias after his father. He said, no, he's saying he's supposed to be John, huh? Right? Yep. And, and then his father started to prophesy. Yep. And this is what the fuck he said. Go ahead. That's funny. The they used to just prophesy. Yeah. Out of nowhere, know where they just get that, that spirit, man. The problem, that's beautiful. I'm sorry. Blessed be the Lord, God of Israel, for he has visited and redeemed his people, and have raised up the horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. Wait, now hold on. He ain't say nothing about no damn heathens. He ain't say nothing about no heathens. He said the Lord has blessed and redeemed his people and set up a horn of salvation. Which is, which is who they call Jesus Christ, by the way. Now you read Matthew, you read Luke, and when you read these things, you hear constantly that he came for Israel, that he set up a horn of salvation for Israel out of the house of David. So how the hell can you read this in Matthew, Luke, John, and all these places, and then all of a sudden in Corinthians and in Romans, oh, now, okay, well, now he's coming to say the Gentiles, get, get out of here, man. No, you fucking cherry picking, man. We 
we bringing these scriptures out how they're supposed to be brought out. You read these scriptures in kind of chronological order, you'll understand exactly who Jesus, who Jesus Christ came to save. Go ahead. On the mark of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, that we should be saved. Wait, no, 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 no. Read that again. Cause this, this what they ain't understanding. This is not. They don't understand why, why who they call Jesus Christ came. Zechariah is telling your ass. Start over, man. Start over. Zechariah telling you why Jesus Christ came. And his, and his father, Zacharias, was filled with the Holy Ghost and prophesied, saying, Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people, and hath raised up the horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us to perform the mercy promised to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. His whole, now who is his covenant with? We don't got to go get the scriptures. It's, it's obvious the covenant was with Israel. It wasn't with everybody. That goes back to the promises, man. I, I even go further. It wasn't even with just the Jews. It was with Israel. Israel. He said to save Israel from all that afflict them and that hate them. To give them the promises, the mercies um, that was promised to their fathers. That was the mercy. What it said about Jesus Christ, he came to he came to give them mercy that have not that had not obtained mercy. It wasn't talking about no heathens. It's talking about Israel. We go back to Hosea chapter one. Go ahead. The hope which is swear to our father Abraham. That's that important. That's a very important part, man. That he wait. Did they say swore? The oath. The oath which he swore. They said an oath, man. We don't got no Bible, we ain't got no dictionary, right? Yeah, I got a dictionary on my phone. Okay. We get that oath, man? Yeah, yeah, I get it. Trust me, I would talk about this. Nah, I don't got a Bible dictionary, but I got a dictionary. Nah, that ain't gonna be in there, probably. Yeah, it's a problem. I don't want to speak like that, Probably not, though. Oh my God. <laughs> It says from dictionary.com, it says oath, definition of oath. A solemn appeal to, to a deity or to some um, revered person or thing to witness one's determination to speak the truth. Oh, to keep man. a pro to keep a promise. Uh-oh. Buzzword. To keep a promise. To keep a promise, man. This is a promise that can't be broke, man. This is no, I said it. This is a promise that's not supposed to be broke. I got another one too. This so here it is better. coming from the most high. It's not gonna I mean, be broke. Go ahead, bro. This, yeah. this definition three a formally affirmed mm. statement or promise accepted as an equip as a equivalent of an appeal to a deity or to a um, revered personal thing. A revered personal thing. And it's an affirmed, man. It's formally. A yeah, it's a, a formally affirmed statement. A formally. That's right. A form, it's basically a formal, a formal agreement. Right. This yep. is locked in, man. Right? It's an oath. So wait, it? it said he swore. Is that brother again? The oath. He swore to our father Abraham, man, before there was even an Israel, man. That's that's a mean thing, and they think that. See, that's why you need the Old Testament, man. Yep. How you gonna know about that if you don't read the Old Testament? How do you read? This is supposed to be the same God. It's in the New Testament. It's supposed to be the same God in the Old Testament. They said everything done changed, though, but they will agree that this is the same God in the Old Testament as the New Testament. Read what he said. He swore to Abraham, man. I'm trying to really, like, we're trying to really, like, break this down, man. That's a very important thing. He swore to Abraham, man. That what? Thank you. 
swore to our father Abraham. Huh? And he will grant unto us that we being delivered out of the hands of our enemies might serve them without fear. Now wait a minute, who else needed salvation? I mean, that's how, that's how I know that Christianity is of uh, Satan, man. Bullshit, man. It doesn't make any sense. They had us in slavery, but they need salvation. Yeah. They, just, they had, like the brother just said, they had us in, <laughs> in slavery, but they the ones that need salvation, man. Yeah, that don't make sense, man. But you know what? Hey, I, I, it does make sense in this place. This is Babylon, man. The home of, the home of confusion where nothing makes sense. Right? I'm glad the brother had brought out Oak though, man, because that was serious. What's up, bro, man? Hey, man, what are you guys what are you selling, bro? You selling, you selling some weed? What? Nah, man, we ain't. Nah, man. You got Hebrews? Yeah, man. Yeah. Hebrews? Yeah, yeah. Hebrews, man. Hebrew is life. Yeah. I gotta ask though, bro, like, what, what, what made you ask if we were selling weed though, man? Yeah, weed. Weed is something that elevates the mind, right? Supposed to elevate your mind? Yeah. How do you do that? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. There's some I, uh, some, some people say some artificial to what you really say. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I just want to hear what you got. I mean, you know, but Malachi chapter three. That's the spirit I just said. I ain't even want that. Malachi three and one. Hey, I apologize. I pushed you. Nah, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. We out here to. Out here Thanks to for apologizing, though. Thanks for that, man. Yeah, Malachi chapter 3, verse 1. <laughs> That's beautiful. I ain't man. Hey, yeah, Malachi 3 1. I still want that in the book, though. Malachi 3 and 1, and then skip to 6. Malachi chapter 3, verse 1. It says, oh, read verse 6. Give me Amos chapter 3, verse 3 and 1. Amos 3 and 1. Family. Family. Uh, Malachi 3 and 4. It says, 4, right? 3 and 6. 6, I'm sorry. It says, For I am the Lord, I change not. Right. Therefore, ye sons, therefore ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. Ye sons of who? Jacob. Exactly. So, the most I don't change from the Old to the New Testament, y'all. Right. He ain't change. He ain't say in the Old Testament, I'm going to save Israel. Israel is my servant. I only care about Israel. The heathens are as a drop of the bucket. The heathens are as spittle. And then in the New Testament, he's, he's saying, I love the heathens. And Jacob, I don't care about them no more. Right. Because they broke them. You don't have to keep them. That's not the most high. I'm going to send my son down to, sit, to teach y'all that y'all don't have to keep the laws anymore. Huh? Teach y'all be filthy. <laughs> That's ridiculous, That's man. Ridiculous, First man. of all, when you look at the laws, the laws are set up. And then my, when you look at the laws, they actually pattern after the... The um the laws of the universe, man. That's right. So why would they the most, why would the most high send his son down here to tell people not to keep his laws just patterned out the universe? Basically he tell he teaching them to be lawless, man. Right. And you know who the only law, race of the lawless race of people is? These people walking right up and down these streets. Yep. So-called white man, eat them out. So called white They're lawless, man. You white people, you other you heathens. Yeah, that, all, all of you are, man. Well, I mean, like, they lawless, but these leaving, there are no mistakes in life. No, it ain't. No, it ain't. What do you mean by, like, experiment? Yeah, I mean, you're going to ask that. What do you say? Anything done, without faith. Huh? Say it again. The Bible is faith. Anything done without faith is sin, right? Let's well, say that. I don't know about that one. Anything done without faith is sin? I believe the book of Proverbs. Never heard of that. But you know what sin is in the scriptures? Yeah. Well, sin, I don't know. You go to church? The way the sin is death is what he said. Right. But you know what actual sin is? Huh? No, I'm going to get it for you. Well, what's evil? I was like, my 
I'm not trying to put you on the spot, just yeah, not like trying that. to show you something. I'm seeing it something away from the bad decision that turns you away from the guilt. Well, what do you use, what do you use to measure that decision? Okay, let's go ahead and put it in against the law. Exactly. You said it perfectly. Exactly. Let me just read it real quick. First John right. 3 and 4. Whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law. But now, sin is transgression of the law. Now, can you tell me one law? Huh? Yeah. Huh? Okay. Can you tell me another one? That's the only one you know? Yeah, that's that's, that's kind of like more of a commandment. Like, what's yeah. a, like a law, like something you're not supposed to do? Oh, a law? Well, I mean, a law what? A law in the Bible, like, law in the Bible. Law uh, in the Bible? Uh, okay, well, uh, thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not kill, oh. yep. Thou shalt not murder, right? Thou shalt not cover. You know what cover is? Hey, cover, cover, yeah. Mm -hmm. Thou shalt not cover. Did you know that there's a law in the scripture that says that uh there's a law in the scripture that says that when you get paid, like if somebody hire you, you're supposed to get paid the same day? Before the sun well, before the sun go down. Yep. Did you know that? No, 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 I mean it says it says in the Bible for the man when he work, uh -huh. you're supposed to read the fruits of his labor. Right. That's right. Also, that's what it said. Right. Not saying that you were supposed to be paid right there to there. But you are in the law. It said, it that's what I'm it. telling you. Well, I mean, eventually you'll be paid, right? Huh? Eventually you'll be paid, right? Okay. They're let's... supposed to pay you the same day. That's the law in the scriptures. When you do. So when 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 you go to work, I'm sorry. When you go to work, and they pay you two weeks later, that's actually a sin. That's a sin on that part. He's showing you like the laws are not just like because you what you were doing you was quoting like commandments which is a part of the law too. Yep. But I'm trying to show you is that the law is more is broader than that. It's like America has laws like you see these people stopping at the stoplight stop stoplight right because that's against the law for them to run it. Well, in the Bible it's, it's things like that too. You know it's not stoplight but you know you got to pay a man the same day. That's one of the laws. You know why too though. Just expound on that what he said. You get why you had to you should pay a man that same day. Okay, let's just say let's just say you got it? Okay. Let's just say um you know you got you know a, a son or a child, a, a newborn or whatever, and you had to go ahead and pay, you know, you needed money to go pay for diapers or something like that, or food. And you was like, okay, boom, I just got this job. So basically, what they're gonna say is, well, you're gonna have to work for us oh, for a week without us paying you, and you'll get the check the next week afterward. Don't your kids still need that food, that, that food right now? A diaper's right then and there? So where are you gonna get the money from? Exactly. I mean, you kind of lost it, man. You saying basically. If you just started a job and you needed to feed your family, would you be able to feed your family that same day that you started that job? Uh, I can't call it, man. I mean, you just said you get paid the, the next week, right? Yeah, I mean, eventually they'll be fed, right? If right. I work then they should be fed. Eventually. Right, eventually, but they need the food now. And you just went to work. You get what I'm saying? Okay. So they should have paid you that day, whether it be, you know, fifty, eighty dollars. You should have got paid that day so you can go get food and feed your family. What do you mean I should have got paid money? You got paid, yeah. You got paid for your, I mean, to your look, labor. Back in the days, what do you think? Come out of Old Testament? Huh? Old she knows older than Old Testament, yeah. I mean, back in the days, they was paying people in bread and... That's yeah, I'm just saying whatever the commodity was, you know, okay, back then it probably would have been. But they did use money. Right. They used gold. They used gold. The thing that you got today? The loans, all that. Matter of fact, a dollar. You know what the word dollar mean? Dollar. It's just a measurement. That's not money. Right. Money is gold. They giving you paper. I mean, if, if America, let's say America crashed today, you're not gonna be able to use that dollar no more. Right. You're gonna be worthless. You're not. You really not getting paid. Yeah, fuck that. You know, you're yeah. supposed to get paid gold. But what the, what the brother telling you is that it's wicked in them because we trying to ex explain to you that they got laws in the Old Testament. They had laws. We trying to explain to you what sin is. Nobody probably never told you what sin is. Sin is the transgression of the law. Right. Now we just used the example of the law where it says that you have to pay a person the same day. 
when you go to when you go work, let's say you got a job today, when you go work, they're not gonna pay you today. Right. They'll pay you at the end of the week or two weeks or at the end of two weeks. That's a sin. And they gotta take the tax up before they give it to you. And they're gonna tax you, right. That's a sin. So that's what sin is, man. Huh? What if you die, man? What if you die before you get that first check? You know about grace, you know what grace is? Grace, yeah. Right. Yeah. What about it? Well, I mean, by the grace of heaven falling, you all make it out, right? Make Say it out again? Of, by the grace of heaven falling, you all make it out. Make it out what? You all make it to salvation, the good places, money, wealth, whatever. That's salvation? Yeah. Well, no, that's not salvation. Oh. However you want to put it. Would that be salvation for you? Well, yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> yes, indeed. Okay, but well, let me ask you this, though. As black people as a whole, do we just need money? No, oh, man. I don't have a problem, man. That's why I don't have a problem with that. You know, everyone sees a, a complete whole. You know what I mean? Everyone's not perfect. You know what I mean? So when I say grace, Basically, man, what we're trying to say is, man. Whatever meant for you, bro, is going to be for you. Whatever meant for you, what we're basically saying though is this, man. We're in slavery, man. I don't know if you can probably, I don't know if you can tell, but we're in slavery, man. As far as these people on this side right here, they don't have, they don't have any culture, they don't have any land, they don't have anything that belongs to them, man. So basically, it's a Negro, huh? It is a Negro, West Indian, the Negro. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah that's true. Right. Basically, man, we're in slavery, man. You need salvation. You saying those are things that's a part of salvation, but you need salvation. You need to be saved. That's what salvation means. Yeah. Saved from what? You need to be saved from slavery, right. man. Right. I mean, when you say you need to be saved, you say sin, you transgress against the law. It's up to you to get out of your situation and carry on. You know, that's what we can So you think we can get out of slavery? Yeah. How? What is this? Huh? What is love? Give me Deuteronomy chapter 20, verse 68. Uh, All right, look. You said the law. We can't get ourselves out of you know, slavery. You know what the law of forgiveness is? What? No. You know the law of forgiveness? No, what, what is that? The law? Right, the law of forgiveness. What is that? That's, that's like a court. If I tell you, you done me wrong, I tell you, hey man, you such and such. You such and such. And but I forgive you. You know what I mean? I forgive you. That's a force. You're forgiven. Your conscience is clean. Therefore, the law of forgiveness is a force. Uh, you say you can't make out of slavery, bro? You can make out of slavery, bro. All right, well, we still in slavery. Well, I mean, how, how do we get out of slavery? Yeah. Yeah. You believe it. You believe it. Can huh? you get out of slavery? Yeah, yeah. I'm not in slavery. Yeah. You're not? I thought you the one that said that, that you needed some salvation. You needed money. Yeah, salvation is true, bro. Why can't you get it? I can't get it. I don't know. You know? Because you're in slavery, man. I bet you can't walk. I bet you can't walk into one of these banks and get an arm loan. No, no, no. Well, I bet you can't go. I bet you can't go live in that guy right there. I bet you can't go live in his neighborhood. If I did try to take a drink, I do feel a little bit suppressed. Okay, well you in slavery. You in slavery, man. Okay. You in slavery. You in slavery. I think I'm in a rut for a while right about now. You in slavery, man. You just, it just not changed. So you think, well, you probably think about slavery, you think about the chain yeah, yeah, shit. That's what I'm yeah. The whip, you know, there's different types of slavery, man. It's it's really living to die, to die in the middle. Huh? Heard it. Oh, no, no, I got a beer spot. You never heard of that? Yeah, I heard someone tell you, there are no winners in this game. There's no winners? There's winners in this game. You see the win the winners walking around right now. They winners for right now. Well, how would you win? Huh? How would you win? Man? I'm gonna win, I'm gonna win when I get that salvation. That's right. See, that salvation. Yeah, alright. Okay. That salvation, I was about to say that salvation is the kingdom, man. Hey, um 
The salvation is the kingdom, man. Our people don't even know the day in slavery, man. He was, you know, and they, they get. But, yeah, yeah. Salvation means saved. 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 Saved from what? From slavery. That's what means salvation. That's right. Yeah. But he, you know, you know how they get our people though. They feed them that bullshit, man. As you and you're in that predicament because of yourself, man. Yep. Because you haven't wished yourself. That's that. You know, you heard that the secret. The secret, yeah. You know that that's that fucking philosophy, zeitgeist philosophy type shit. Where you're you're only in slavery. You're only in the position you're in because your mind hasn't perceived that that you you know haven't your reality. Yeah, your shit. Yeah. You haven't channeled the the existence of the, of the universe, the power of the universe. The you force. You haven't harnessed the, the force of the universe to go ahead and project your, your actual desires. That's fucking bullshit, man. That's how they can keep you in slavery because they'll say, all right, man, y'all, y'all, y'all niggas is in the slums because y'all don't... Y'all niggas is in the slums because your mind hasn't, you know, progressed or evolved, you know, into to perceive the reality of what you really want to see. That bullshit, whatever it is. I got scripture, man. So here it is. He think he he's in slavery because of them, his his own his himself, man. Right. If you know that shit, why you ain't take yourself out of slavery, dog? Right. Yeah. Go ahead, bro, that priest, right? This is, uh, see, see, when we out here, man, we poor men, dog. We ain't out here with the, you know, the nice suit on and shit. We poor men, dog. We hear what the scriptures say. If we was trying to tell him the truth, he ain't want to hear that shit. He kept, but he was fighting against it, like, he was, he was fighting against it, man. He was fighting against it, man. It's, uh, Sirach chapter 13, verse 13. It says, every every beast loved his life. Well, now, let me skip down. This verse 23. When a rich man speaketh, every man holdeth his tongue. And look, and look what he said. They extol it to the clouds. But if the poor man speaketh, they say, what fellow is this? And if he stumbled, they will help, they will help to overthrow him. You know why? Because when you got a lot of money, you, you, you're so-called established, you're looked at as a great person, man. But you, you, you're knowledgeable and you, you have a lot of wisdom. That's how you perceive, man. People measure wisdom and knowledge by material, materialistic things, man. But if you see somebody that's poor, what, what, what a poor one. Let's just, let's just put that out there, man. What a poor one, man. Like your brother just said, we ain't out here with the suits, the $500 suits and, you know, millions of dollars and shit like that. We're poor men, man. Because they think, okay, so anything that we bring out must be bullshit because, going back to that, that, that philosophy that we haven't wished, we haven't perceived our imaginations out of the uh, predicaments that we in right now, man. When the, when the scriptures tell you, man, we wrestle not with flesh and blood, man. It's, it's spirits all around, man. There's things that's going on beyond the physical that's controlling everything, man. I mean, it's obvious. None of this shit makes sense. None of it. But it's going on because it was it's, it was is ordained for it to be like this right now, according to the scriptures, man. If anything the most high says gonna happen, it's gonna happen. Yep. You got some more of that? Nah, that's it. Um, I wanted to read a curse real quick. Alright, go ahead. Deuteronomy 28 and 28. The Lord shall smite thee with madness and yep. blindness and astonishment of heart. That dude was mad, man. He was mad. How and he was blind because he didn't want to see the truth. An astonishment of heart, too. You can't teach our people nothing, man, because they that's part of the curses, man. Well, first of all, that's a rebellious house anyway. I was told in uh pursuing Isaiah and Ezekiel. And damn near all the whole the rest of the Bible. 
This is a rebellious house, man. Right? How exactly stiff neck, man? What is that? Uh, uh, is that what is it? Uh, um, what is she talking about? Rebellious house? No, that's uh, a lot of them. Damn, this is Zika, man. Zika is like a chapter. Yeah, this is Zika. It's got a Zika two and two. That's a good one. Did you have something to watch? Did you want to try to get it? No, you got it though. Yeah, that's how it's going. Huh? Yeah, Zika is going too. It's Ezekiel 2 verse 2. And the Spirit said to me, to me. That's why you get little jakes that come up here, man. And it's like, you know, even though you, you, you break it down to them, they still don't want to hear it. Even though they, it'll make sense, but it's like they still can't get it because they're a rebellious nation, man, as a whole. They're rebellious as hell, man. Go ahead. To a rebellious nation that have rebelled against me, they and their fathers have transgressed against me. Even to this very day. He had transgressed against me even to this very day. Even to this very day. Right. But they are imputed children and stiff hearted. I do you say I guess they're imputed and stiff hearted. I do send thee unto them, and thou shalt say unto them, Thou shalt the Lord God. And they whether they were here or whether they were poor there. So there you go, right there. Wait a minute. People always asking us, you know, why why are we even out here? Why are we even out here? The, the scriptures tell us to come out here, whether they hear or forbear. Go ahead. For they are a rebellious house. Yes, you know that there have been a prophet among them. That's why we do it, man. So they'll know that there have been a prophet among them. Among them. We got a scripture for you too on that. So they can't go actually and say, oh man, we never knew about them. How, how, how the Lord gonna come back and destroy us when he never sent us any prophets to begin with? You know what's gonna happen as soon as you said that shit? Mosiah's gonna give you a vision of us out here, man. When you had you have waved your hands at us. When you came up and asked us if we was, do we have any weed to sell? Why would you even ask that, man? You gonna remember that? Oh yeah, I asked that. I asked that dude in a row. I asked them two, them three dudes in a row, if they was, if they uh, if they had any weed to buy. Do we look like we out here selling weed, man? But you know what? That go. That's that's how we looked at in this this uh this nation, man. In this country. No respect. Because they love, like we just, like the brother just read in Proverbs, they look at people, at poor men, as unwise. The people with Lamborghinis, Ferraris, a lot of money, that's the people that got all the knowledge. So far. Say something, man. Go ahead, bro. Did you have a preset too? I got one for you, yeah. Okay. If we was, if we was white and we had on a, a fucking blazer right. and a Rolex watch, right. an Italian suit, yeah, Italian suit with some gators on. <laughs> He wouldn't have fucking access that shit. Exactly. Because he would have had respect for us to say, you know what? This dude look like he bought business. I'm not going to ask him if he got some damn weed to sell, man. Right. And then whatever we said, he would have listened. Exactly. That's why when he came up with all that secret bullshit, you got to 
wish yourself out of out of slavery. No, I ain't in slavery. He listening to these damn, these so-called white people that got all this money and telling him that that bullshit. Exactly. So now he come to us and he see us the poor men out here teaching the word. He don't want to hear what we got to say. He gonna fight it. No, it's right. It's some niggas, man. They, they gotta have some type of weed. All niggas smoke weed, right? Elevate your mind. Yeah, elevate your mind. Alright, we out here selling weed with a camera and a Bible. We, we recording ourselves selling weed. Man. That's that's the dumbest shit ever, man. That don't make no sense. Go ahead, I'll get you going with that, Ezekiel. Uh, I got something for you. Too. Oh, yeah, go with this first. Yeah, this is Isaiah chapter 65, verse 1. Word. I am sought of them that ask not for me. Uh -oh. I'm found of them that sought me not. I said, Behold me, behold me, unto a nation that was not called by my name. He's talking about Israel now. Israel. But I have, and I'm going to give you an example because when you go to Hosea chapter 1, he said, Call him Loami, meaning not my people. Man, he took the name of Israel from us. That's right. When you go into the book of Chronicles, I think it is, or Joshua, he said that we were not going to be known as by our name in a lot of days, man. Right. All right, so um, we didn't tell you that in Revelations, man. Yeah. Revelation chapter 65, verse 2. Yep. I've spread, Isaiah. I'm sorry, Isaiah chapter 65, verse 2. I've spread out my hands all the day until rebellious people which walketh in a way that was not good after their own thoughts. That is not good after their what? After their own thoughts. After their own thoughts, man. Because it says your heart, your thought is, they say your heart is your mind, man. Yeah, heart comes from the Hebrew word la'ab. Heart which means comes from mind. the Hebrew word la'ab, which means mind, right? Because you don't, you don't, if people say, oh man, I'm, you know, I can feel it. It's, it's in my heart. It's in my heart. I love, I love that person with all my heart. First of all, your heart doesn't love anything, man. It's just an organ that pumps blood all throughout your body. It's just a, it's just an organ, a major organ that pumps out through your, uh, that pumps blood all throughout your body, man. It doesn't think. It's your mind, man. You know what did it say? What does it say? on Jeremiah the seventeenth chapter, man. That's Satan, man. It says, Jeremiah the 17th chapter, man. It said the heart is wicked, desperately wicked. Who can know it, man? It said wicked above all things. Man. Wicked above all things, too, man. Go ahead. You said, I have spread out my hands all the day until rebellious people. To rebellious people. I wonder who that is. Which He's walk on the sign, man. Yeah. What? Which walketh in a way that was not good after their own thoughts. That's right. I gotta say something on that. Go ahead, go ahead. And a part of that way is America, man. The American way. And you're gonna celebrate Christmas, right? Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. um, Halloween, all these wicked days, pagan days. You're gonna be you're gonna follow after the American tradition, which is thievery, greed, rape, and pillage, man. Right. Here you got in America, brother turn on brother, on families. Wait, well, let's let's go even deeper. The so-called white man. They children be killing each other. They children be killing them pa they parents. Yep. But you out here following after them, man. Right. After they ways, trying to be like them, listening right. to them, right. coming up to us with some with the secret. Coming us telling us about the secret, but some so-called white man came up with to tell you that you gonna you can get yourself out of slavery. Don't matter because you got a nice car, you still in slavery, man. But the most I said that he he said he stripped forth his hands until rebellious people all the day long. 
The rebellious people yeah. is the nation of Israel, the Negroes, Native Americans, and Hispanics. Here we are. We out here teaching. We out here for them. Right. Where they at? They ain't here. So we gotta fight with the so-called white man that think he that think he gonna be safe. Exactly. What about El Salvador? El Salvador's out there. Guatemala, Panama. Okay. That's what we gotta fight with out here. When when our, our people ain't listening. But they'll, they'll tell you about some damn Martin Luther King, though. Because Martin Luther King was was in with the juice stand with the so-called white man. That's Putting right. us into his, integrating us into his whole little system so we could be their damn slaves forever, man. Let's say that again, man, so y'all can hear it. Martin Luther King was a part of it, was, was in agreement with the so-called white man, man. He was. That's right. And the scripture prophesied, and the scripture prophesied against Martin Luther King, man. That's right. Y'all like, y'all love MLK, man. Y'all love Martin Luther King. Wow. Man. Wait, I'm Italian. Okay. Sicilian. Okay. You're my 23. I don't know what you are, man. Honestly. No, I'm saying I'm Sicilian. Okay. Okay. That's what you is, then. All right. That's what I is. Well, like we were saying, y'all white people love Martin Luther King Jr., man. We do. You do? Yeah, why? Man, he's Let me ask you, why? Because he said, he said, I have a dream, and goes, no, 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 one day, uh, one day, what's gonna happen? Boys and little white girls, or something like that. Gonna be playing together, playing together. And basically, yeah, long story he did short. Say that. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. Long story short, he wanted black people and white people to integrate together. He did. He wanted to stop segregation. That's what he said. Yeah. Right. Read this, man. This, come on, come on. This, I mean, this is good. I mean, this, this dream that MLK had. Let's just see if that was in agreement with the Bible, man. Right? Is this even also a so-called past? He was a so-called past. Go ahead. Go ahead. And by a God at hand says Lord, but not a God of all. Right. And any heart himself in secret places that I shall not see him, said the Lord. Them that I fill heaven and earth, said the Lord. I've heard what the prophet said that prophesied lies in my name. Wait a minute, he said, I heard the prophet, the prophet that prophesied my name. What's it again? I have heard what the prophet heard. said that prophesied lies in my name. Prophesied lies in my name, bro. Okay. Saying, I have dreamed, I have dreamed. How long should this be in the heart of the prophets that prophesied lies? Read that again. It was a lie, though, is it? It's a lie. We're going to tell you. Yeah, they, they are prophets of the deceit of their own heart. No, read it again. I, I, I have heard what the prophet said that prophesied lies in my name, saying, I have dreamed, I have dreamed. How long shall this be in the heart of the prophets that prophesy lies? Yea, they are prophets. Wait, read it again. I want you to be in the prophets of the lies. I got it. Read it again. Read it again. I have heard what the prophet said that prophesy lies in my name, saying, I have dreamed, I have dreamed. Who said I had a dream? Martin Luther King. That's what that's talking about. So wait, when was this written? Yeah, that's a good question. It's the Bible, right? But it's prophecy. What does prophecy mean? It was written before prophecy Bible. Prophecy just means I'm predicting what will happen in the future. Okay, okay so that's a prophecy. Okay. Right. Go ahead, read up. Where are we going? Because I want to know where we're going. This is, I want to know where we're going. I find this fascinating. How long shall this be in the heart of the prophets that prophesy lies? Obviously, that's a lie. It's a lie. Now what? So, you guys predicted. Is that Muhammad? Who said that? No, that's the Bible. That was Jeremiah. Jeremiah said that. Jeremiah. So Jeremiah predicted Martin Luther King to say it is a lie, but it's a lie. Right. Because that's the most famous thing about Martin Luther King. His I have a dream. I have a dream. Right. Right. And there's a reason why. Why that speech is was. There's a reason why that speech is, is the most famous speech that he's given. Right. Agreed. And I believe it is a lie. Sadly. Right. Well, I don't know. If it's a lie, but I believe it was a dream. Right? The dream can't be a lie because he hopes someday. People live together in harmony. That was his plan. Right? Well, the, the, the thing is, it's a lie because he's basically coming on behalf, calling himself a pastor. He's supposed to be talking on behalf of the Most High. 
out of the book of the Bible. Who talks on behalf of the most high, right? Anybody that says they talk well, on behalf the of the most high. Here's the thing. He said, I have a dream that basically was the dream we can integrate, right? Right. Was the most high with that plan of integration? Well, let me ask you. Do we know? You remember about the Tower of Babel? Sure. What, tell me about the, that. They built the Tower of Babel all the way up to the sky because they thought they were smarter than God and they knew everything better than everybody. They could speak all the languages, right? So it was the Tower of Babel. It was all coming together. So, all right. So what happened? I'm asking you. I don't know. You tell me. I don't know. You remember what happened when he changed the languages and basically he struck destroyed. it down, right? What he said, well, the main things that he said was he came down and saw that it was wicked, man. Right? That was evil. So the integration is evil. The integration is evil, man. Right? Well, look at it. No, it's interesting. It's it. I mean, has integration helped out? Let me just ask you, has integration helped out black people as of right now? No. There you go, man. Agreed. You're right. Huh? You're right. That's how. Right. That's how white people is. Because it's been consumed. We've been consumed. So what's right? the answer, though? What's the answer? The answer to what? Oh, the answer to all of this? All of this. Okay, well. What's the answer to all of this? The answer to all of this, uh, you want to get into it? Yeah, yeah, man. No, I want to, I want to finish I'm the Martin Luther King. Okay, all right. You can finish okay. We can get to that, but that's like a whole nother. <laughs> I want to know what the answer is. Second. Somebody's got to tell me the answer because I... The I hear reason, the pain. I hear. I, I hear it. I can't say I feel it. I hear it. Okay. The reason that he said Martin Luther King that dream was a lie. The whole world is not going to integrate. Like, that's not never. Because when you read these, right about that. when you read these scriptures, Israel is supposed to be saved. We could go back to Luke, but I mean, yeah, Luke. We could go back to. What was it, Luke? You go back and look for that. What we was reading earlier. Yeah. yeah. Because in the king, what they call the kingdom, it's going to be on earth. Right. And Israel is going to be ruling the whole earth. And in the land of Israel, is going to be Israelites. And in the other, the other land are going to be the heathens, their lands. So the whole earth is not going to be integrated. So, All right, Negroes are not going to be integrated with so-called white Americans. It's not going. To, that's not the prophecy of the Most High God. The Israelis, the Jews, right? No, not necessarily white. The Israelis are not Jews. They're Jewish. Jewish. And they're not the real Jews. So how do we figure the whites? In here? Huh? How do we figure the whites versus the blacks, right? This is, that's what we're talking about. We're not saying white versus black. And that's not what we're saying at all. What we're saying is the ra different races. And we're not when we when I say race, I don't mean color. Cause you 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 look white, but that don't mean you white. Don't mean shit. Color is nothing. I look black, but I could be. I could be. The ignorant people see color and they make a decision. Right. That's color color has nothing to do with race. In ancient, in the, in the Roman Empire, in Israel, you could have been a white man and still been an Israelite, even though the Israelites were black. The Etruscans, right? Right. Yeah. Race, yeah. Color don't mean nothing. That's right. just a color. It don't mean shit. It does mean something, unfortunately, to certain people, but it doesn't mean something in reality. It don't mean nothing. In the Bible, that's the interesting question. The, the Bible deals with race. It don't deal with color. Did you know that? It deals with races of people, like Genesis chapter 2. I don't know what I think of the Bible yet. I, mean, I, think, I think a lot, right? I think the Bible is the Word of God. Yes, it is. The Word of the Most High God. It's the Word of our God. That's right. That's right. Because you understand there's different gods. There's so many. Right. Even Satan is a God. Hey, man, the Romans had all kinds of gods. They had God for every day of the week. Right? That's a big That's yeah. I thought that was the, uh, the Egyptian. Too. Egyptians. Yeah, they all had a whole bunch they of They all got some yeah. bullshit guys. But the, the fact of the matter is they don't really know what's going on. That's so right. you got to make some shit up. That's what they do. Hey, go to um, Jeremiah 23 and 8. Oh, that's beautiful. Yo, so, that is beautiful. Go to Jeremiah 23 and 8. All right, man. All right, man. Thank you. Oh, yeah. I, 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 Jeremiah 23 and 8. That's beautiful. It's in the same chapter. It's in the same one? Yeah. Read verse 23 and then go, back, go down. Read verse 25. Where you had left off, yep. and then skip down to eight. Uh, I heard what the prophet said. The prophet said, "Lies in my name." Say, "I have dreamed. I have dreamed. How long shall this be in the heart of the prophets that prophesy lies?" Right. Martin Luther King said he had a dream that all the kids, all the little white kids and little black kids, were gonna come together and they were gonna play, and it was gonna be integ basically integration. That's what they were fighting for. Equality and integration. Right. I go down and I go back to verse 8, what the Most High say. 
But the Lord liveth, which brought up and which left the seed of the house of Israel out of the north country and from all countries whither I had driven them. And they shall dwell in their own land. They shall do what? They shall dwell in their own land. So Israel going to dwell in their own <laughs> land. So how is Martin Luther King dream right. of integration true? That's not the most high word. That, that dream he was talking about was a fucking nightmare, man. Huh? That was a nightmare. Look where integration got us now. Look where we at. Even he had to agree. He said, yeah, we not, they're not in a good spot. Says integration, man. Because what, when you're integrated like that, no matter what happens, you're gonna be consumed by the dominant, the dominant head, man. Exactly. Everybody know this is a white establishment over here, man. That's why you're gonna have uh, Trayvon Martin and Zimmerman things, man. That's why you're gonna have that. And it's gonna be more too. That's why you're gonna have our people being so wicked. That's right. You know why, man? Because this place. How can you have righteousness on a place that was founded by wickedness? Exactly. How was this place founded, man? Bloodshed and bloodshed, man. Bloodshed, man. Stealing, robbery, rape. What is that song they like? This land was made for you and me. What they like to say? Yep. No, it wasn't. It was, it was, first of all, nothing was made for the white man. You didn't receive a blessing. Because he's selfish, man. I don't know. You read something else that uh, with, with the, what the brother just read about the, uh, having our what is it? Having our own uh, nation. Having our own land. Having man. our own land. Let me read this. Daniel's two and forty-four. It says Daniel's two and forty-four. And in the days of these kings shall the God of heaven set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed. Yep. The kingdom shall not be left to other people. And where the integration in that? I don't see no integration in that. No, Israel, you Negroes, Native Americans, you're gonna have your own kingdom. Right. You don't need this so-called white man to be with you. You don't need him, man. You're gonna have your own kingdom. Right. So everything this Martin Luther King guy say, why you think America big him up so much? Right. You think that's in their best interest to set up? Why you think we out here, we, ain't nobody listening to us? Right. Why you think we out here and they, they ain't got us on their news? Why? Because this is this what we're saying is not in their best interest. Right. They need you Negroes to work. Yep. So they can, you can be their slaves. Exactly. Exactly. Bring it out, man. Huh? I mean, so it's not that Martin Luther King thing. They big that up because, hey, they need y'all to integrate. Right. Don't you know, before Martin Luther King talk, started talking that integration shit, we had our own Wall, Wall Street that was doing better than the Wall Street in New York. Right. Black Wall Street, man. Tulsa, what is it? Tulsa, Oklahoma? Tulsa, Oklahoma. Yep. They had other, England wanted, England, the UK wanted to borrow, they wanted to borrow and invest in our stock market that we had. Don't you know when the slaves came out came out of slavery, they did everything better than the so-called white man because he had them doing everything? Yep. That's where the, the so-called union started from. That's right. So why the hell do we need to integrate with this man? Right. Think because, about that. <laughs> right. Because <laughs> that, that took dumb. away all of your power, man. Right. So when this when this when this guy Martin Luther King, King came about, he basically knocked y'all down a few notches. Now look at our women walking up and down the street. That's right. Loose, like the white woman. Yep. Worse, worse. Worse, let's say worse than worse, the white woman, because the white woman got sense to respect her husband. That's this right. integration shit got, got the so-called black woman putting us on child support and shit for what? So she can go get them damn food stamps. Or go get the damn housing authority. So she could be right in the bosom of the so-called white man, dog. Right. So fuck that damn integration and Martin Luther King. That's why white people love that dude so much, man. That's why they reverence him, reverence him over Mal Malcolm X, man. I mean, as a whole, both of them was all. But they don't really, they don't, they ain't really with the Malcolm X type Ooh. thing, man. I'll praise y'all for you, I got a scripture too. Go ahead, bring it up. It's Proverbs chapter 12, verse 26. The righteous is more excellent than his neighbor. 
but the way of the wiki sedu seduces them. Yeah, yeah, that's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Read that again, please. Proverbs chapter 12, verse 26. The righteous is more excellent than his neighbor, uh -huh. but the way of the wicked seduces him. The way of the wicked seduces him. Why? Because of integration. Yeah. She called this one the integration. Yeah, that's what we're going to name this, this lesson. I mean, yeah, okay. I mean, think about it. Before, let's say before the 60s and shit like that, before Martin Luther hit, King hit, right. how was our people acting? Was they killing each other? Exactly. Was our women acting like sluts, dressing like that? Right. They was in the damn house taking care of their children and their husband, and they de they dressed moderately, man. It wasn't was, wearing weave. Was they being disrespectful nope. to their husbands? No. With this integration shit, that's when they start doing that shit, right. man. Right. That's when I. That's when, like the scriptures say, the right the righteous is more excellent than his neighbor. Right. But the wicked seduces them, man. But the wicked seduces them. So they got all integrated. Now they acting just like now they acting just like they are. Now they acting just like the so-called white man. Right. So hell yeah, we're against Martin Luther King, man. The most I was against that dude, man. Right. And people get mad at us when we say that, man. And that's another thing, man. Because because you go to school, they, you know how many you know how many leaders that they had and that they could teach you about. Right. I give you an example. They got a dude named Aesop. He was a black dude from the east. He, he lived in Turkey. He the one wrote all of the boy that called, cried wolf. He wrote that story. You don't never learn about him that he was black and all his proverbs and things like that. All right, when the so-called white man came to West Africa, they had a, a king named King Jaja. He was called King Jaja, the Merchant King, and he fought. He fought the so-called white man and beat him real bad. He was beating the English generals. Do they teach you about that guy? No, they're gonna teach you about Abraham Lincoln and George Washington, right? Crossing over the damn river. They're gonna teach you about the Independence War. Teach you about Martin Luther King. Martin Luther King. You know, that's, that's, that's what it is, man. They're going to teach you about all the so-called black civil rights leaders that was with the program, man. Right? NAACP was started by white men. White men. Yeah. Jewish people, so-called Jews. Yep. I don't know exactly. The integration, man, it, it weakens you, man. It weakens you. That's why when you niggas gotta go to a job interview, gotta make sure you got your, your, your little suit on, your little tie, you make sure you, you know. Your phallus around your neck. Yep. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. You gotta, you gotta adhere to their program, man. And that's how they like it. Hey man, don't, never listen to these crackers, man, when they talk about, man, why don't you guys just go back to Africa, dude? Dude, why don't you just go back to Africa? Man, don't you know if we all did it as a whole, man, they would... America would collapse. In an in a, in a instant, man. In an instant. Don't ever let these crackers think they don't need you, man. What you think the whole point of slavery was? Because they didn't want to get out there and pick that motherfucking cotton, man. Huh? Huh? He's a reader. He's a reader. He's a reader? Aren't you just reading Yeah, I'm the speaker. Alright, listen. Like when you when you have anything, you gotta have order, right? Right. Like let's say you go to you in school or something like that. You go to a class. And you let's say there's two teachers in there. You're gonna have one teacher, he's gonna be the main speaker, the other teacher might read for him, might just help him out. It's kinda like that up here. Yeah. Right, but he was teaching, you stopped. You okay. Right. Alright, well let's 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 show you that in the scriptures. Alright, give me first Corinthians. That's a good question. Would you want it? First Corinthians. Yeah, hold on. Let me go let me get it too. I just wanted to get the joke. Alright, go ahead. Yeah, do, do that while well, I'm looking for the scriptures. <laughs> Hold on, I'll let you know. Which one are you looking for? 
decent order? Yeah, first Corinthians 14. You have to get you yeah, to get you to get you First Corinthians chapter 14. Yeah, get first Corinthians 14. Start at verse 29. First Corinthians 14, verse 29. Right, let me say this first. Like, the way we go, when we out here, we gotta follow certain rules and how we teach. So that's what we do. This is the rule right here. Go ahead. Is it First Corinthians 14, verse 29. 29? Yeah. Isn't the verse you're looking for? No. 29. Okay. Let the prophet speak two or three, and let the other judge. Right. If anything be revealed to another that sits by, let the first hold his peace. For yet, they all prophesy one by one. Hold on, read that again. If anything be revealed to another that sits by, let the first hold his peace. That's why sometimes I say, let me say this, and he'll stop, and then I'll talk. And then he'll, sometimes I'll stop, and he'll talk. Go ahead. For yet, they all Right, one of us will prophesy, speak, and the others will read or give scriptures to back up what the one is saying. That's the order that we have to follow in the scriptures. Let me also That's say why this. we do it that way. Uh, Let me also say this too. He actually is. And you know, he had read and he has spoke. Can I answer your question? Okay. All right. So yeah, that was it on that. Uh, get, so, get, get verse forty. Verse forty. Let all things be done decently and in order. Right, everything got to be done decent, everything got to be in order. So, yeah, which is about that though? You can prophesy and teach. I mean, you can read and teach. Um, so these are the only people that can be saved? Yeah. Saved, yeah. Saved, yeah. Saved, yeah. Saved, yeah. King James. It goes back to the. It goes back to prophecy. See, everything got to do with prophecy. So, because so, I'm the, um, I guess, I'm the or whatever. Okay. Can you show me how I'm sinning for the prophecy? Yeah. This is chapter 49. Oh my God. Huh? Yeah. What's your father? Your father from? Where your father from? Your father from Haiti? Well, you won't be Simeon. You actually, you will be Levi. Doesn't the lineage go back to the father's father's father? It goes back to your father. Right. Oh, his father's Dominican. Oh, well, cool. You're right then. Right. All right. This is chapter 49. This is chapter 49, start at the top. This is Genesis 49 and 1. And take a part to his sons and say, gather yourselves together, that I may tell you that which shall be called you in the last days. Right, the last days. We know today is the last day, right? Okay. You said today is the last day? Today is the last day. These days are the last days. Okay, I'm going to say today. Wish. Go ahead. Gather yourself together, and hear ye sons of Jacob, and hearken unto Israel your father. Reuben, daughter of my firstborn, my might, and the beginning of my strength, the excellency of dignity, and the excellency of power. Right? Unstable as water. That was the first one, Reuben. Unstable as water, thou shalt not excel. Because thou wentest up to the, my father's bed, then defilest thou it. 
he went up to my couch. Simeon and Levi are brothers. Wait, hold on. Reuben. So we know that Reuben would be the so called Seminole Indian. But that didn't say Seminole Huh? No, but it's not going to say Seminole Indians. This is written. I still have all y'all out. This is written a long time ago. It's not going to say Seminole Indians. So how do you know Reuben is Seminole I'm about to explain to you. Because it gives certain traits or things that they will be doing in the latter days. Such as? Read it. It said that they shall be unstable as water. It means that they moved around a lot. Now, when the so-called white man came to America, started attacking the natives, right. Simeon moved, Simeon, which, I'm not saying Reuben, Reuben, which would be the native, which would be um, the Seminole Indians, they moved a lot. Right. If I'm not mistaken, that's what the word Seminole, um, not Seminole, I keep saying that. The word Seminole means to move, run. Okay? Go ahead. Unstable as water, thou shalt not itself set thou went up to thy father's bed. Right. Then the fallest thou is. Right. Now I also said about Reuben that it said Reuben was the beginning of my strength and the excellency of dignity and excellency of power. The Seminole Indians had a certain dignity about them. As a matter of fact, when the so-called white man told them to put Negroes into slavery, they would not do it. All the other Native American tribes, they did it. Yeah. Reuben would not do it. That's the excellency of their dignity. That's right. Okay. That's Go why ahead. you have a lot of Seminoles, man, that actually look like just regular black people, man. They, they integrated a lot. I think they started out in it was they Oklahoma. Yeah. And then it's they migrated right down there, to bro. they migrated right. down to uh Judah, to, uh, yeah. to Florida, here in Florida. All right. Yeah, bro. Hey, I put this on my Instagram, bro. They shut my Instagram down. Yeah, man, it's taking off, man. Yeah, bro. This is yeah, really yeah. very shut down. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. I went up to my couch. Simeon and Levi are brothers. Okay, Simeon and Levi. Simeon is who? On, on the sign. Who's Simeon on the sign? Dominicans, right? Right. Who's Levi on the sign? Haitians. Simeon and the Haitians and the Dominicans live on what island? Hispaniola, the same island, right? Yeah. Now, are all the 12 tribes of Israel brothers? They are. Yeah, they are brothers. They all, all the 12 tribes of Israel are brothers. So why would they call them brothers in this in this case right here? Because they live on the same island in in the what's up in the uh, so called in the future in the last days. Right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't want to read it again. That didn't even happen yet. Have a night, boss. Simeon and Levi are brethren. Now notice, it says Simeon and Levi are brethren. Man, they were going to be dwelling in the same place in the latter days. Right. Which would be the same island which they call Hispaniola. Okay, go ahead. Instruments of cruelty are in their habitation. In instruments of cruelty. What is that going into? That's going into the um the voodoo and what they call it. Adultery. No, voodoo. And what's the other one? Center, center, centenaria. Yeah, right. Yeah. That's going into that. Go ahead. Witchcraft. Which is witchcraft? Instruments of cruelty. Go ahead. Oh my soul, come back down to their secret. Right. Unto the assembly, my honor, we got the night. Assembly, meeting up, doing this, um, what is it called? Centuria? Yeah. In the uh, so called voodoo. Go ahead. Oh, if they're angels, they slew a man. And if they're self will, they dig down the wall. God says, look at my speedos all the time. First, be the angels. No, go back, man. Yeah, hold up, Bob. Hold up. Hold up. Wicked, man. Y'all see that? I see that. Show that shit, man. You the cave beast, bro. This is shit we gotta deal with out here. This is what we gotta deal with out here, man. That's the person, man. Yeah, it is. Exactly. Go ahead, read that again, huh? Read that again, huh? 
Genesis 30, 30 something, where they slew that Canaanite from marrying their sister. But even more so, when you go back to, to these days, who was the only ones? Who was the only ones to break free of the slavery of, of their of their masters? The only country. Oh my God! Haiti. Right? Going back to that. Their anger. Yeah, but right. we're, we're explaining the whole thing, the whole chapter. Simeon was just whole verse. Simeon and Levi, they were some kind of basic. The anger I can relate. I get mad. Right. We're going into the whole. Because they, like I said, they're brothers. So it's explaining them in one verse. Right. So we, that's what we were doing. That's basically it on Simeon, I think. So how do you know? I how go do it on 28 and 8. You said it says Levi and Simeon. Right. How do you know which is the two? Which is the two? Yeah. How do you know I'm not? Well, well, it. It's a good. Simeon and Levi, brother, understand that. Right, right. They got food on them. Right, right. Both of them do it, but which is, how do you know which is which? I know that Dominicans are Simeon. I know Dominicans are Simeon and Levi are Haitian. Well, I, I, I don't have, I don't, I don't, I can't explain that. I think it goes deeper in the chronicles. You know what I said? I can't explain that one. I don't know, you're probably have to go into some records, records or something like that. You probably have to go into some records or something like that. I don't, I can't explain how, I can't explain So y'all don't know? I can't explain that, no. So who, who, where, or who that is? You have to go to our elders. Elders? Mm -hmm. Where are they They're in New York. They're in New York. You can go on YouTube and look them up, yeah. You can go on YouTube and look them up. Where are you can't find out and get back to the I can, yeah. You have to find out and get back to you. So, okay, so these two information, y'all don't have full understanding. So what about the rest? You like, can y'all break down the rest? Yeah, we can break down the rest. Okay, so these are the only people that's supposed to be saved. Yeah, they're the only people that's supposed to be saved. I mean, I read a scripture all the time. It says, God said to go, um, go teach to every creature. You're supposed to go teach a dog? Huh? You're supposed to go teach a dog? Well, creature is like, um, when you look up the word creature, it means like some fiction, not, not technically. Of course, Jesus Christ would be saying, go teach a dog. A dog can't understand it. When that scripture? You mean that scripture? You mean just the word itself? Um, what the scripture that I was reading in Mark chapter 16, verse 20, 16 and 15. Portals and process. 16 and 15. 16 and 15. Yeah, probably. So, but when you go back and you read the whole Bible, going back to the Old Testament, what was he saying then? Was he saying that he was going to save everybody? Yeah, he said Jesus Christ came to give the only begotten son. I'm talking about the Old Testament. Old Testament? Yeah. Old Testament talking about Israel. So if he's talking about Israel in the Old Testament and saving Israel in the Old Testament, and the scriptures say it is in Malachi 3, yeah. that he changed not, why would he change in the Malachi New Testament and change and save everybody? I don't know. I mean, that's what I read in the Bible. Mark, that's what I told you. 
but you got to get the full understanding of it. That's why you got to read the whole book, not just the New Testament. So the whole book, would it be that? Because you're missing the Apocrypha, right? No, I'm not. You got the Apocrypha? You have the Apocrypha? Mm -hmm. It's in that Bible? Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Maccabees. Maccabees. Well, you go back through the whole Bible. Matter of fact, let's get Luke. Let's get Luke. Was it Luke? One and, yeah, let's get that again. Because you can get Matthew 1 and 21. Matthew, you, you know Matthew 121? Do I know Matthew 121? Yeah. And she shall bring forth a son, and his name shall be called Jesus. And he shall, he shall save his people, his That's right. They don't say Israel, but it say he shall save his people. But so who you know is Israel, you know? Something like that. So, but, yeah, I see, I see it says Israel, so I'm guessing they're not the only ones that can be saved. Oh, Israel? Because, like I said in Mark, I think, the verse said in Mark 16, 15, it said that it's just every yeah, but it could be. It don't mean. It don't have to necessarily mean every creature, every single, every single creature. If you already said, if the Lord already said in the Old Testament that He was going to save Israel by the Lord, then why would He have to be be redundant and keep saying that? This Bible was written to Israel, so if you say save all creatures, it's talking about all creatures of, of Israel. I mean. He don't have to keep saying like over and over and over. He already stated in the Old Testament what his aim was. But here's the thing though. I'm actually read that. Because a lot of people get that tripped up that it says go out and preach to every creature, right? Does that mean that every creature he's supposed to preach to is the one that's supposed to be saved? I mean, why would you go preach to somebody that's not going to be saved? What makes sense? Well, think about it. Well, how, do you know who's going to be saved? the Israelites. Right. Or Israel, right? Right, but is everybody in Israel going to be saved? Yeah. Is it the Lord of the a certain Israel? Right. Do you want to get that? Not sure. Right? Did you want to, is the Lord ever distinguished between Israel of people that were going to be saved and the people that weren't going to be saved? I mean, the furthest I can go is Gentile. Yeah, Israel and Gentile. Let me just read this real quick. In fact, that I found 17 and 9. I pray for them, I pray not for the world. I was like, yep, I pray for them, yep, I pray not for the world. But, the rest of it, but, but for them, which are, I pray for them, I pray not for the world. But for them which thou hast given me. But for them which thou hast given me, right? But they are thine. But they are thine, for they are yours. So who was given to me? Who was given to me? I pray for them. I pray not for the world. I pray for them. I pray not for the world. That's a good question. I pray for them. I pray not for the world. The world of who? The world of Israel, man. Israel's the world? Yes. Did you know that scripture that you that you quoted, John 3, 16? Yeah. It says world. What is the what is the word behind that that, uh, that world? World can mean a, a specific uh, civilization, a specific place. Exactly. Exactly. Doesn't mean everybody. Exactly. So it's that world. The world of Israel. How do you prove that? John 17 and 9. But, I understand John 17 and 9. John 17 and 9. But you say, them. but which is the them? That's what I'm trying to figure out. I think you said you understand it though. I understand John 17 and 9. It says, I pray for them. So God is aiming his focus at a certain them. I'm going to know who's that them. Okay. You're saying it's Israel in uh -huh. St. John 3 16. Okay. All right. So keep going now. But it doesn't say Israel in St. John 3 16. I, no. I pray for them. I pray not for the world. But for them which God has given me. But they are dying. Keep going. And all mine are dying. And thine are mine. Uh -huh. And I am glorified in them. And now I am no more in the world. But these are in the world. Uh -huh. And I come to thee, Holy Father, keep through thine own name. Those who are thy enemies. Uh -huh. That they may be one as we are. Now, Luke 1, 68. Set it up. Right. Uh, Luke 
Moi, je pense que c'est bien, c'est ça. C'est ça. Et le sport de sa gloire, c'est ça. 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 Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, for he had visited and redeemed his people. He had visited and redeemed his people. Right? And have raised up the horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. Right. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began. Going back to the Old Testament. Right. That we should be saved from our enemies. That we should be what? That we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us. For what? To perform the mercy promised to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. What? Now, who, 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 who had the promises in the covenant? Who are you talking about? New Testament. I don't know. New Testament. I mean, Abraham. In the New Testament? In the New Testament? Yeah. I'll help you out. I gave it to Tom. Why do I have the bandana back? You want me to read it too? Yeah, you can read it. Romans chapter 9, verse 4. Right. While Israelites to whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law and the service of God and the promises, the promises. Right. whose are the fathers and of whom as concerning the flesh Christ came. Christ came. Remember, that's what he was given to. Right. I pray for them. I pray not for the world, but for them as just given to me, but they are done. There it is right there. Romans 11 and 8, man. Huh? 11 and 8? It was more, it was more on that, too. It was more on that. Can you read that real quick? Can you read that up? Uh, yeah, you, you kind of interrupting us, man. I interrupting? You kind of interrupting us. Go ahead. And we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all the haters to perform the mercy promise to our fathers right, right. And, to, and to remember his holy covenant. To, to do what? And to remember his holy covenant. That's why the Israel is supposed to be saved. Right. So that they can they, they can perform the duties that the most I told them to, to keep the covenant. Keep going. Hold on real quick. The oath which he swore to our father Abraham. Right. That he would grant unto us that we be delivered out of the hands of our enemies by serving without fear. In holiness and righteousness before all the days of our life, and thou child shall be called the prophet of the highest, for thou shalt go before the face of the Lord to prepare his ways, to give knowledge of salvation unto his people by the remission of their sins. Through the tender mercy of our God, whereby the day spring from on high that have visited us to give light to them that sit in darkness and in the shadow of death to guide our feet into the way of peace. Well, that's it. I mean, but it said so that we, so that Israel could do the service of God. Right. They could serve their God. That was the reason why they called Jesus Christ King. Right. Because Israel sinned. Because the Most High God left the wicked heart in them, so they couldn't keep the laws. That's why Paul goes on to say, you know, you can't keep the laws, so, so, so on and so forth. Israel couldn't keep the laws. They sinned. So they had. So the Most High God had to send His Son down so that he could save them and make an atonement for their sins so that they can come back to the Most High God and serve him in, their, in the kingdom of heaven. My thing is, how can everybody be saved when we already just read that the adoption already pertains to Israel? Right. So how can he adopt anybody else into this thing when it's just for Israel? So Gentiles can't be saved either. No. What do you, what do you mean by the Gentiles though? Like the New Testament talk about the Gentiles? It does talk about the Gentiles. Keep reading Romans 9. Keep reading Romans 9. It's a good question, man. Romans chapter 9, verse uh Romans chapter 9, verse uh See, I gotta understand that there was Greek speaking Jews, man, Israelites, that were considered Gentiles. 
So am I a Gentile? You said, would you be a Gentile? Yeah. Well, I, that's, that's kind of hard to say because we don't really don't even know you. You know what I mean? Like you said, you, you're an Israelite. But you, as far as like you said, the definition of the Gentile, you may be because you don't really, you probably don't even subscribe to this. You believe what we're saying? What we're doing up here? You believe in the Bible, right? Of course. But, okay, let me, let, me, let me put it this way. Matter of fact, read that. Read that what you're about to, about to read. We're going to go into the Gentile. We're going to find out. Romans 9, 24? 23. 23. And that he might make known the riches of the glory of, on the vessels of mercy. Who, who is mercy? Who, who's supposed to get mercy? Israel. Which he had a four. Like give mercy to Israel? Yeah. I mean, yes. you put me into the Bible, I mean. We just I read it. We just read mercy? it. Mercy? I didn't hear nothing about mercy. Okay, go back to Luke, chapter 1. Verse 67. Verse 67. Yeah. 67. Yeah. That's what's going to do 51 too? Uh, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, yeah. which have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies. Okay, that's it. So Romans chapter nine. We did again. Get back. So the Gentiles, oh. right? So you're thinking that's like I can tell everybody, you. right? Yeah. As he said also in Hosea, I will call them my people, which are not my people, and her beloved, which was not beloved. I go to Hosea. He said, um, say it again? Something quick. Uh, verse 24, uh, even us whom he had called, now this, this is Paul speaking, and Paul was the Israelite. Right. It says, even us whom he had called, not of the Jews only, but also of the Gentiles. As he said also in Hosea, I will call them my people, which were not my people, and her beloved, which was not beloved. So now we got to go to the peace of Hosea. Hosea chapter 1, verse 9. Hosea chapter 1, verse 9. It says, Then said God, Call his name, Lo Ami, for ye are not my people, and I will not be your God. Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea. So is Paul wrong? For what he no, said? Paul not wrong. I'm Jewish, I'm Jewish. Paul not wrong. No. He's not wrong. Just the people that's reading it today is understanding Paul wrong. Right. But if he, if he, I mean, he clearly said it. I mean, what am I understanding? But see, but what you got to understand is that the, what you're looking at, see, you're reading the Bible from the perspective of today. Right. You you read you live here today, so you you're coming at it from a Sorry. mentality of living today oh, yeah. instead instead of I'm just, I'm just no? I'm just curious. Okay, you're reading it from the perspective of a person living today uh -huh. instead of reading it from the perspective of somebody living in the ancient days right. and these days. Right. And that's what you got to understand is that at this time Israel was scattered. A part of Israel was scattered. I read that real quick. What, Israel was scattered? A part of Israel was scattered all throughout the earth. Well, you go, you read the book of Maccabees, right? When you read the book of Maccabees, they were taking it to Greece. So that's why they were called, they were called Greece. I'm going to give you an example. My father is Jamaican. I was born in America. If I go back to Jamaica, they're going to call me a Yankee. Am I a Yankee? No. My daddy's Jamaican. 
it was the same way in the ancient days. But you gotta uh, you gotta read it from that perspective. Otherwise, you'll miss what Paul's saying. I guess I'm missing because I mean it doesn't get clearer than that. Yeah. I mean Romans 11, 13. You ain't let us finish he, though. He's the apostle of the Gentiles. So I'm like, I'm lost. Because you see, you you heard the word Gentile, and automatically first thing you thought of was the Greeks and the Romans, so-called white man and non-Jew. No, I didn't Gentile. No, I just thought of non-Jew. Okay, you know why? Why? Because ever since you were born, they were telling you that's what it meant. Right. My grandmother used to tell me we're, we're not we're Gentiles. So right. obviously you're gonna think true. that. It's like we gonna we're gonna tell you and we're gonna tell you that with, with firm truth, we we totally believe this and this is what it is. You're Israelite. You probably not gonna believe it because from the day you were born you were told that you were African American. So it's gonna be hard for you. Dominican. Or it's gonna so it's gonna be hard for you to believe it the first time you hear it. So that's that's the way it is. Now, can you show me through scripture how that's yeah. what I'm thinking wrong? Okay, so, so it said, I'm going to read it again, and we're going to go back to the precept. All right, because, well, let me explain this first. The New Testament is what? It's written from what? What's the New Testament written from? The Old Testament, right? When you read the last chapter of Acts, it said that Paul was teaching from the scrolls, which were the Old Testament. Right. So the New Testament is written from the Old Testament. So Paul is quoting things from the Old Testament. So the Gentile, what he said, that's from the Old Testament? It's from the Old Testament. And we're going to read it. I'm going to read it again. We're going we're gonna to read the Old Testament scripture and quotes. So Romans chapter 9, <laughs> verse 24. Even us, whom, okay, go ahead. Even us, whom he had called not the Jews only, uh -huh. but also of the Gentiles. Gentiles, as he said also in Hosea, I will call them my people, speaking of the Gentiles, I will call them my people, which are not my people, and her beloved, which was not beloved. Now Paul is quoting from an Old Testament source, talking about these Jews and these Gentiles. So let's go, let's go to that source. He said, uh -huh. as he, why you gotta walk in front of him? So it says, as it says, as Hosea said. That's what it said in the scripture. Right, I just read. Right. So, so that right, means so we got to go back to Hosea, Hosea and read it. Go ahead. Hosea 1 and 9. Then said God, call his name Loheven. Lo I mean. You know what? I want you to start up some more. Start at verse. Start about right, right there. When the Lord said it to him, call his name Jezreel. For yet a little while, and I will avenge the blood of Jezreel from the house of Je Jehu, and will cause Je and will cause to see the kingdom of the house of Israel. And it shall come to pass that day. He's gonna make Israel see the king. Go ahead. And it shall come to pass in that day that I will break the bow of Israel and the body of Jezreel, and she will see the king. See, he's not going to have mercy on the house of Israel. Now the New Testament says he had mercy on them that had not obtained mercy. Going back to this. See, everything goes back to the Old Testament. You got to link it up hand in hand. Now keep going. That's why. He go to the verse 9. I just want you to read that real quick. Now, remember, we read in, um, in, in Romans 9, Paul speak, spoke about mercy when he started speaking about the Gentiles. So go ahead. Then said God, call his name Lord me, for ye are not my people, and I will not be your God. So right there, the Most High, this, he said to Israel, you're not my people, man. And I'm not going to be your God. Read that again. Go ahead. Then said God, call his name Lord me, for ye are not my people. And I will not be your God. So he basically turned it back on Israel. That's why you have, that's why you have the ministry of reconciliation, re and again, to consult again, and you bring somebody back to you. Re the gospel of reconciliation. That's what Paul's just. That's right. That's what.